people we interviewed. This All right, is so, so welcome cool. back. This is we, we're in amazement here because we're both history buffs, and this is really something. So there's swimming pools with a lot of history behind them. The Dreamland pools, uh -huh. plural, yeah, in Canova and in Portsmouth. And there's a new film, and there's the poster for the film about it. They've been open for nearly a uh, hundred years. Well, the uh -huh. Portsmouth one unfortunately closed, but it's very fascinating stuff. Yeah, so a new documentary mm -hmm. is diving into Dreamland's past, and mm -hmm. the film's creator, Dr. John Lawrence, is here to tell us all about yeah. it. So welcome. This is fascinating because a lot of people grew up, and if you didn't, you probably have a relative that Who can tell hung stories. out here yeah. in the summertime at right. Dreamland Pool. Yep, Indeed. and this is the Portsmouth version, and that's what uh -huh. I didn't realize. I mean, I, because when I moved to the area in the early 90s, this had just closed, the Portsmouth. Right, 1993. 93. Uh -huh. What's there now? Just an empty lot? Do they fill it in, or it's a strip mall uh -huh. uh, and all the, and an Aldi's parking. Yeah. Oh, oh that's my where all these. Okay, I know right. exactly yes. where that is. So that was where the pool was. But the first one was in Canova. Yes, uh, Canova Pool was opened in 1926 okay. by a Canova businessman, and okay. that was so successful he decided to build and operate another one in Portsmouth. Yeah. Uh -huh. That uh, opened in 1929, which uh, actually. It's a good thing it opened in 29 because if the Great Depression would have happened, it probably wouldn't have gotten off the ground. That's true, yeah. uh, indeed. And, and in fact, it only stayed in that family in Canova until the mid-1930s. In oh. 1936, the pool was bought out by uh, Portsmouth Interests hmm. and then reopened, but reopened with a different name. Oh, okay. okay. It was called Terrace Club. Okay. And so for the next three decades, it was Terrace Club. Hmm. Uh, in the time of the civil rights movement in the early 60s, yes. uh, there was a, uh, a wade in, as they called it, mm -hmm. uh, which led to the integration of the pool because uh -huh. it had been segregated. Oh, it was a segregated pool? Segregated pool up until 1965. Uh, what about the uh, Canova pool? Was that segregated as well? It was early on, but uh, um, uh, that, that went away. Pool, yeah, went, yeah, it went away when the uh, city itself bought the pool for I private see. interest. Okay, okay. So talk about why did you decide to make a film about Dreamland Pools? Well, uh, <laughs> for, for several reasons. Uh, <laughs> one reason was is that my father was the co-manager of that pool for over 30 years. No way. Oh, so there's a personal reason behind There's a personal this. Okay. reason, and uh -huh. I, uh, huh. I grew up in that pool. Uh -huh. And people in Portsmouth had been asking me, you know, we had done uh, several other documentaries, mm -hmm. uh, River Voices and Beyond These Walls on the yeah. flood wall murals in Portsmouth, mm -hmm. and those be, were quite popular films. Uh, and people kept asking me, you know, why don't you do yeah, a short sure. adrenaline? Do one on yeah. adrenaline. And I resisted for over a decade, okay. uh, saying, well, no, I'm too close to the story, uh, okay. and uh, I, I just don't see where the story is, and I'm not interested in this being a personal story. I yeah. want it to be something that has universal applicability. Yeah. So that's, I put that off, but then something happened, which is quite remarkable, actually. Someone posted a picture, uh, this picture, in mm -hmm. fact. This one right uh, here. Yeah, this one right here. Okay. On a social media site. Okay. And uh, this picture and then their experiences sort of growing up in dreamland, and uh -huh. um, they, uh, people started commenting on this. Yeah. And it went viral. It just, I mean, it was amazing how many posts there were on this, and this, this kept going on, and I was sort of following this, and since my father's name came up a few times, I would respond, and, uh -huh. and uh, I thought, well, like all social media uh, posts, this right. will be... It'll go away you know, after a few days. Yeah, yeah, it'll burn out, yeah. right. Yeah. And uh, it went on for four months, six months, nine months, a year. Yeah. And it, it went to two years, and there were still people oh my posting on it. Amazing. A lot yeah. of good memories at these it, pools. Exactly. Yeah. So what I did was uh, I actually copied all these off mm -hmm. uh, and uh, sort of figured out saying that there's got to be a story here that's uh, something more than just having yeah. a good time at a pool. Right, right. 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 So I uh, copied these off, and I lined them up and tried to figure out what's the common element here over all these different generations from the 1930s yeah. to uh, the 1990s uh, yeah. right. 1990s when it was destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. 
And sure enough, there was some really common themes. Yeah. Uh, love these genuine interest, yeah. So and it was generation after generation, and you I would see that yeah. uh, it was now uh, someone's grandchild mm -hmm. and daughter. And, uh, still I, talking I, about it. Still yeah. talking about this. So let us know, because people are fascinated in this, obviously. March 9th. When and where can we see the film that you've put together? Well, it's uh, premiering uh, and on Saturday, March 9th at okay. 7 p.m. Okay. at the performance. Arts Center at Shawnee State University, right the Fern Rife Center for okay. the Arts. And okay. Tickets, uh, it's a ticketed event. Tickets are free, thanks to That's our nice. sponsors. Free tickets. Uh, but yeah. uh, s to make sure that uh, everyone has uh, uh, can get in and has a seat, um, uh, you, you need to have you a, need a, a head count. This way, you can relive your your days yeah. of hanging yeah. out at the pool with Dr. Your Lawrence. Friends. I can't even begin to thank you enough for coming in and talking about this. This yeah. is uh, really neat. It's not just pleasure. for history buffs, but for anybody I who know. wants just a, a great story to be told. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, thanks for coming. It's my in, pleasure.